Hey, this is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, and this is SSJ Goshen 4. Her figures are over 9,000! Alright guys, so now today is Monday, the day after the con, and I'm here with Dean Odds. Mitch couldn't make it because he is with um, other friends that he decided to hang out with, but he'll probably see us later in the day for dinner. But um, yep. right now we're going to Rick Robertson's um, uh, studio for uh, him and Elise record, so that's going to be really cool. We're going to have some lunch, and then we're going to see them record. And then we're gonna do some interviews and stuff like that. Like it'll be, it's gonna cool. be cool. It's gonna be great. Looking forward to film as much as I can there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to do um, a couple interviews. You know, that'd be nice. So I'm excited. Uh, we did this kind of last year with Stephanie and Only. Now we're gonna do this with Elise. So, all right, guys. I'm excited. See you soon. Hey. <laughs> Elise Bowman is here. <laughs> She's gonna give us a tour yes. in the studio, right? Yep. Yes. A discussion with us and the dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yay! Everybody's in here. Okay. So this is Rick's studio. Yay! Oh, this is cool. Where's Rick? There's Rick. Oh. <laughs> um, the voice of Deborah. The voice of Deborah. There he is. Yes. There he is. <laughs> Everything's great. Right. Yes. Great. <laughs> They're actually about to go in and record right now. Okay, so cool. Where we're going to have lunch. Oh, in just nice. A oh, nice. And Hello. there's Elena. Hi. She's one of our engineers. Yeah. And then Kaylin is uh, another one of our engineers. Oh, okay. Hey. This is well. Elena's world right here. Oh, awesome. It's really, it's really mm -hmm. fancy studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You can go. Yes, me. Okay, so this nice. is so yeah, pretty really fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the screen here. Wow, I love it. Let me pull up an actual Look at that, that looks awesome. Okay, a bunch of DVDs here. You will see a very small place for the voiceovers. Hmm. Okay. They just they just don't have a large place. Okay. Unless a voiceover designs the studio. In which case you have this. Come on in. Okay. Ooh, cool. 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 Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> oh, nice. that's so oh, nice. Yeah, that's Look cool. at that. See, there's room to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Wow. We, we have our company slogan right up there. Nobody listens to a radio spot. They listen to what interests them, and sometimes it's a radio spot. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so I this love is where it. you do the voice acting? This yeah. Is where we do our the thing. voiceovers and everything. Well, that's pretty cool. I love that. That looks really nice, actually. <laughs> I like the purple. Yeah. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I saw those. And that was cool, too. I really like that. Sonny's yeah. great. I like the purple Are and, any, uh, you know. stuff about the board here? Uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> In your studio. Yeah, He's the Bora. It's funny, I really don't. It's, you mentioned it. I don't have a lot of Bora memorabilia. Yeah, I, don't think. Yeah. Okay. I, I see a Dragon Ball tape over there. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's just, I don't know, you know, you bring your stuff with you. And uh, just now somebody gave me a framed picture of Yoni. So oh, cool. That somewhere. That's oh, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. so I'll, I'll hang that somewhere. But, but, cool. Uh, you know. Justin uh, Cook is the voice of uh, Yusuke, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen him yet. So, uh, he's usually in Funimation. Oh, <laughs> he's there a lot. This is my prize possession right here. Oh, this is actually okay. a Sgt. Pepper's picture disc. It's, mm -hmm. it's an album wow. that can actually be played. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? That's awesome. Uh, you, you first have to take it out of the frame, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, smart ass. You would have to take it out of the frame. <laughs> and this is Casey. She also yes. reports <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, okay. And the headline is provided. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Right. You see the right. there's a Dragon Ball tape over there. Yeah. Right there. See? Oh, I see. <laughs> VHS. VHS. Oh, and they got Yu Yu Hakusho too. Uh huh. Oh. And that's why Yogi shows up. Old that's oh, why right the, there. That's when the boar showed up. Wow. <laughs> that's when the boar shows up, and this is yeah. when Yomi shows up for Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> And this is That's you, uh, him when he was younger. She will shoot it over to Kaylin, and you can come see where he exists. And he does the door he's Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Essentially, we run off a, a similar like iCloud hard drive. Mm -hmm. um, so 
the instant they're done recording and editing, I have access to the drive, and then I'll pull, you know, and she'll have the session prepared, and I'll be able to pull it right up, and I'll start editing the audio and clean it up, so that way we can send it off, then I email it off to clients, and, you know, if any revisions need to be made, they'll email me back and be like, oh, can we have this done, or this vocal take needs to be redone, then we'll go send it over to Lena, she'll redo it, send it back to me, I edit it again, so cool. so. But oh, okay, it's a team effort. It's yeah, definitely, definitely a team effort. Course. It makes it way more uh, <laughs> economical time-wise. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. You know, it, it, pretty much they're, they're recording and editing stuff in real mm -hmm. time. Like the instant they get something done and they're on to the next thing, I'm already editing the first thing wow. they did. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same day cool. you finish. Yeah, it's oh. like within sometimes like 20 minutes. Wow. Like yeah. from the time of them recording to having it to clients, it's just all pretty quick. Wow. So, that's, uh, I would have never known that. See some old oh. cassette uh, cassettes there too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some, uh, old school. Stuff. And well, <laughs> in fact, uh, Rick is actually credited for uh, coining the term air guitar. So, yeah, the one. I don't know if he was officially credited, but he is the person who created the uh, the term. And he could probably what? tell you that story. That's pretty interesting. He just I gotta told hear me, that. He what? just told me the other day, so he that's did. why. Yeah, I have so, to hear uh, that. That's awesome. Yeah, I have to ask that. him about that's the really cool. Story. That's, that's pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh -huh. apparently, because he's a radio, I know a little bit of it. He's a radio DJ, mm -hmm. and he was like at a club or something, and he saw somebody making that air guitar motion, and he's like, "What did you call? What would you call that?" And he's like, I guess it'd be like air guitar. And then he did like some radio promotion talking about it, like air, air guitar competition. Yeah. It was the first thing that had ever been. <laughs> That's like, crazy. About. It was, and then it just kind of caught on and just kind of blew oh up. Yeah. That's cool, right? He was like the Ryan Seacrest of his time. He yeah. Was wow. Yeah, yeah, he was really? Like in the radio world. He was super well known. Wow, so. I never knew that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. awesome. Cool. That's huge. Cool That's a cool stuff. fact. I would yeah. have never known. Yeah, yeah he, you'll have to ask him about Yeah, I definitely want yeah, to. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and then I'll show you his office. Yeah. Oh, great. Go for it. Cool. Oh, wow. This office. one's nice. This wow, very cool. Oh, here's what he was talking about. It's my Oh, yeah, right. It's Yomi. Yeah. Super oh, awesome. Nice. She's so talented. Oh, she's so talented. Yeah, yeah. she really is. I love her work. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, there's another one. There's another Dragon Ball Z. No, another Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh wow, he's a millionaire, right? He has a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's right there. Still, still here. That's his whole office, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's his office. Mm, okay. Mm. Look at that headshot right there. <laughs> was that when he was younger? Yeah. yeah. Don't you love that? No, that one. Was. <laughs> Definitely looks so much younger there. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. Low pressure thing? Like yeah, no, I don't think it's that old. It's not that old. <laughs> a lot of headshots were in black and white, I think. Mm -hmm. At one point, right? Yeah, a lot a long of them. Time before they all switched to color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, he's got cool Look, that's 1990 right there, him yeah. bowling. <laughs> Cool. Oh wow! Look at that. What's um? What's the same? Hugh Grant, right? Hugh Grant. Yeah. Wow. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah
<laughs> we're recording each other. Hey, 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 we're all recording. Oh, right here? Okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Dinner time. And um, Tiffany Vollmer's coming, and we got a lease right here. Here it is. Top of those seafood kitchen. Let's check it out. Hey, Dinox. Hello. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, guys. So that was the Monday after Kamehameha Con. So pretty much, uh, we went to Rick's studio where uh, Elise and Rick record for their like commercial spots that they do, and it was really awesome to see a tour of that after. Uh, we did the whole tour and everything and saw them record a little bit. We uh, actually uh, did an interview, so stay tuned for a Rick Robertson interview coming soon. And uh, it was a lot of fun, and then we went out to dinner to Papado's. It's, it was like a seafood place, and I had crawfish for the first time. I didn't really film anything in there because, I mean, we were having dinner. I didn't want to have my camera just, like, you know, filming while we're eating. So I didn't vlog during the dinner, but Tiffany Vollmer showed up as well. Her and her daughter and her husband were all there, and... It was great, we had a good time, and uh, the crawfish was good, spicy, I really, really enjoyed it, so we had a good talk, we were there for a while, and uh, it was a really, really great dinner, and as you can see in the picture I showed at the very end, um, it's all of us, like a group photo of all of us, and it, it was it was good, it was a good time, so hope you enjoyed this vlog, mainly showing like Rick Robertson's um, studio, but uh, I had to show you guys a it was a cool experience so next vlog is my final day in texas and i do a lot of sightseeing a lot of touristy kind of stuff so stay tuned for that all right guys peace out goshen force until my next video keep breaking limits hey it's pan from dragon ball gt and you're watching my good friend ssj goshen 4 yeah <laughs>